Hockey's back. Hockey's back. Got my jersey on and my shoes tied tight. I hope Russell gets in a fight. Hockey's back. Hockey's back. What's up, Sprightly Puck fans? Hockey is back. Don't try the time. They are beautiful and precious creatures that should never be harmed. Is that special teams? More forwards! Epic fail. I mentally don't be crazy. More like, shoot me in the head. Hopefully they know <laughs> what hockey is. Hi, I'm Nikki, this is Sanders, and you're watching The Sprightly Puck. First of all, before we get into the game, we're going to talk about the pretty new boards that we got for the season. The boards that we had up through last season were like the best boards top of the line in 2001. So what is the difference between what we had and what we will now be playing with on our home ice at the American Airlines Center? For starters, the plexiglass is clearer. I mean, it's still shatterproof like it's always been, or shatter resistant, I should say. <laughs> The boards themselves on the base where the guys are skating around and getting checked into actually have give to them. The old boards, which were like rock solid, when they get checked, it doesn't hurt them as much. It lowers the risk of injury. When you shoot the puck at the boards, the puck doesn't hit it like a dead spot. Like there's no dead spots in these new boards. They're, they're a softer material, so it actually forces the puck around the ice. So one of the big things about Dallas playing the Blackhawks for their home opener is that the Hawks are a really good team in case you've been living under a rock. This year's uh, attendance for the home opener was a lot better even than last year's by a couple thousand. We completely sold it out. Really, we did see a lot of Blackhawk fans, obviously, but there were a lot of people out there in stars, jerseys and t-shirts. Wearing victory green. That's right. So, Roussel is out. Third line. Mm -hmm. Great guy on the ice. You know, he, Roussel is really feisty, and you could tell that the refs were definitely keeping an eye on him. Does, does he not like the Blackhawks? I think it's a little bit of mutual animosity. There were numerous high-tension points where the refs just kind of babysat Roussel. You have to understand that, you know, if somebody hits him and he goes up there and he's like, hey, you hit me, I'm going to hit you back. He can end up with one of those penalties that will hurt us later. I mean, and Fiddler was kind of getting physical with the Blackhawks as well, which I liked seeing. I mean, he, he is so grateful to be in Dallas again and everything, and he is so honored to have that A on his shoulder. Trevor Daly has the other A. I'm really excited to see Trevor and Fiddler wearing the A. Yeah, I think those are great choices. Our first goal of the game, the season, and all of that was by Trevor Daly, one of our defensemen. Who, by the way, is the first defenseman to open our season with scoring since 2010. Ooh, Eakin got a goal. We love you, Ginger yeah. Ninja. We put up a really good fight. I mean, our guys were very physical. Jamie Ben knocked over three people. It was ridiculous. Two of them within, like, just seconds of each other. Tyler Sagan had said that one of the things he really wanted to work on was his uh, face-off wins. Yes. Now, in the preseason, Tyler's face-off wins were incredible. He had really solid stats. But again, home opener... His face-off stat was 4 out of 11. Tyler, number 3 overall. Number 2 overall for the Stars was Cody Eakin with a 14-23 and face-off record. Again, welcome back, Cody. Glad you're here. I think what surprised me a little bit was Spezza's stats. Yeah. Spezza on face-offs was 10 for 14. We got to the third period against the Blackhawks, and, um, and then we ended up tied. And then we ended up in overtime, which is four on four yep, for five for, minutes. Yeah. Then five minutes goes by and no one has scored. So then we are going into the thing that we all hate, a shootout. You know, Kane did a terrific job. It was a good goal. But we were able to go up to practice the next day. Right, so we had them signing their, uh, their picture, except for poor Brendan Dillon, whose picture was not yet put in the program. Good old Patrick Nemeth comes out. And I'm sure the people who make the program love you, but not enough to get your number right. <laughs> Nashville was a really tough game, and I didn't think that we would actually have as much trouble as we did. By the time we got the game turned on, you know, about 15 minutes into the first period, Roussel had already scored a point, and then it kind of just went steadily downhill from there. We had you know, fighting going on with Roussel. And he got a misconduct and everything, which he is no stranger to. The Predators, man, they were 
They were feisty. They were. And they were like, we're not going to let you guys go down without a fight. Literally. I mean, Fiddler ended up in a fight. Okay, so <laughs> good thing. Lindock did a really great job the first two periods. I, I mean... mean Kept hearing that save Lindback. We're going to be playing uh, CBJ, the Columbus Blue Jackets, uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins at the Igloo, and uh, then the guys will come home and we're going to have a game here against the Flyers. I'm really excited to see the, the games this, the rest of the week and see how we do on the road the rest of the time. Yeah, we'll cover those in our next video. Yeah. See you next time. Your beatboxing sounds like baby farts. <laughs>